Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. Um, if you look on the mini-map there are actually two groups of uh, villages so I'm just going to quickly sort those out. <laughs> so I'm going to take these guys on first. I'm gonna, I've got very very fast running here so let's just... Oh I'm going to press an F1 to as well. Make sure I've got everything ready. Not too bad. If you look at my here, I've got speed, I've got bad name in speed and nourishment, that's resistance, I mean, sorry. Let's go and get the other three, they're over here, I think. And what's giving me this speed is actually boots as much as anything else. There they are. Phew, <laughs> not too bad. Uh, what did I pick up, a bow? Uh, so I've got bad omen too. I'm just going to drink some milk just in case we've got some, anybody there. So if we go to a village, I don't want to have any village tax at the moment. So, so I think I've probably got a bucket of milk in my backpack here. Let's just, oops, try again. I've got two more banners. Much use as anything else. Right, let's drink some milk. Phew. So they're sorted out. So we're free for a bit. So what I'd like to do today is I'll have a look over here. I've got some bits and pieces prepared, as you probably guessed. First of all, I would like to create an ME toggle bus. Uh, the ME toggle bus, which you saw with the recipe, there was basically redstone and cables, will turn off um, power because the. Let me get. I'll be back in a second. Let's get rid of some of my stuff here. So, as you can see, these are actually off at the moment, and so is the ME controller. Um, <clears throat> the reason for that is I broke this piece of cable down the bottom here and what I'd like to do is to put these uh, ME toggle buses in here in fact I probably would maybe I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do this I'm going to have to move stuff around so but anyway what you do is you put it down for example here is the uh, energy acceptor I could probably shift one click on one of those and maybe that goes into oh yes it does look and you can see it's actually off as you can see at the moment so for example here I could put, um, not sure I can put a lever to be dead on screen. Maybe I've got one with me. I have. Um, to put this lever in here, would that toggle it on? No, it's too far away. <laughs> Needs to be about one block. Maybe if I could put it on it on here, actually, it might work. No, it's not. If you, you could see it's not working because it would actually highlight, it would light up a bit. Um, let's just put one down, for example, and you can see what I'm talking about. I'll sort that out. But I'll sort that out in my own time. It's not really anything ex is particularly exciting. So we could put, for instance, down one of those. Oh, maybe I need to put the cable down first. So it's the wrong way around. So you can put cable like this. And then you can break this one. Yes, I have to break this one. I can break it, of course, with a pickaxe. And like this. And then I can put it on here like that and you'll see it's connecting in and then we could put another piece of cable down like that and then when we put uh, for example on this block here which one of it is we have to get it in the right place around about here I think we can then toggle that I hope it's this one <laughs> it needs a redstone signal can I, put, I don't think I can put it there and I don't think I'll put it there so it should either be here or here no, it's not, it may be because it's not got any power, but this should light up purple if it's got some power going through it when it's on. But I'll fix that, and because I'm going to move the base over to this space. This space is now cleared out, as you can see, and I've done a little bit of fencing in here. Oh, and the way I got some speed, by the way, is because of these boots. Running shoes increases movement speed uh, and step out whilst while sprinting so oops, sorry so that's how i could get up so if you sprint when you press control w or double the two mark two times w this is like this you sprint and you go straight up these blocks here without any difficulty at all and those have come from the mimics so well worth attacking a few mimics if you can so next thing let's do some energy uh upgrades for tech reborn so here i've got um, some one 10k water cells. What I'd like to do is to make the speed upgrades to start with here because things are running really slowly. So you can do this with three different recipes. In fact, I don't see the benefit of most of these because if you look at this one, it's actually, for example, to make this 60k cell, it just makes two overclocking. So, oh, maybe that's okay. The recipe for this is um, 
potassium and sodium around one one kilowater cell and tin ingots um potassium is actually quite hard to get the recipe for potassium is basically made end up ender pearl dust so it's something really you get when you go to the end and saltpeter dust i haven't got very much saltpeter dust as it happens i haven't found very much anyway and then you could use these nitrogen cells but you could also get potassium to potassium cells from here so that would make one of those if i can find 10 this would require eight ender pearls well i'm not ready to use my ender pearls for that just yet but we do get ender dust from um, the recycler anyway, so that's pretty decent. So the other way to do it is the one, the one I'm going to do today, just using some 10k water cells. And the recipe for these is basically 14 ingots around a bucket of water. But we've got plenty of tin. I'm not using very much at the moment. So let's just shift click this out of here and take the next one. And make, I'm going to make six of these, which is probably enough for a fair few in upgrades, as you can see. So now we've got these along here, and then I can just put those across the top of this. This should make four upgrades if I'm not... Oh, no, it only makes two. We've got two overclocking upgrades from that. And then you can then go and put these into some of these machines. And some of the machines that are running slowly with the grind, so I've put two in here already. And, of course, the electric furnace. But they do increase power consumption considerably. The industrial... This one's quite heavy and this one's also quite heavy what i did here is i put some flint dust in here i so saw i got a compressed air and a silicon cell um i wanted another silicon cell for something or other but compressed air is actually a thing <laughs> it's not it's not just air so you can go for example over here it's night time i'll have a quick sleep in a second you can actually put it down like that and you actually forms this sort of area <laughs> and breaks everything in its path so that's as you can see it's, it's broken all this i don't know if it does any harm so just try it oh it doesn't do any harm but it is a thing is that no oh, that was silicon sorry <laughs> let's try it with compressed air <laughs> yes there yeah that looks better so that is a thing as well um they break things we put it down here for instance yeah it breaks the it breaks the the grass as you can see right i'll be back in a second when it's daytime so we've made those upgrades the next thing i want to do is we've got some of these mk ones one mk storage cells we made these before uh last episode so i wanted three of these like that and then from those we can then make put those into here for example like this and this will make a 4K storage cell. I want to make two of these. Um, so I'm going to make this MK storage component here. And we've already got these MK storage housing. I made those last time. The cost is identical. So it is, is, gives you a little bit more flexibility. So what we need for that last one here, let's go back to this one. Um, we need calculation presses. We haven't made those yet. And all you need for that is some... Um, Certis quartz, so we can use pure certis quartz. So let's just take a couple out of those here like that. Oops. And then press those, in, put those into here. And I've, I've labeled everything up. So you've got diamond is engineering, gold is logic, certis quartz, or pure certis quartz. We can simply put it into this hopper in here like that. And then have a look in here. And you'll see I've actually already made some. Uh, it automatically feeds it straight in, which is probably the best thing you can do early game anyway. So we've got these. I can take those out of there. I've already made up some more uh, logic ones and I've also made up some more engineering ones with bits and pieces that we've got. And I'll just put those into... Well, I should really put them into here, shouldn't I? But we'll do that later. When I need them, we'll do that. For the time being, we can live without them being done, yeah? So let's just put those into here. I'd already made a few up just to just to be on the safe side. I'm actually using a lot of redstone. I've got to go and get some more redstone. <laughs> this is the last of my redstone. Huh. Not much, huh? So we've got some calculate we we've got some of these. So this is actually another quest as well. So we can put this down here. So we just put in two of those which I have left behind. Fantastic. <laughs> but, <clears throat> right. Uh, so we need two of these we need two printed silicon 
and we've got the redstone with us already. In fact, the easiest thing to do is to line these up and just push them into here. So, for the time being anyway. So what I'd like to do is I would like to put in, first of all, the silicon, and then we'll put in the presses, and then we'll put in the redstone like this. Oops, quite work that. Okay, so all you need to do is just some scroll the mouse across like that and it'll push everything into here and then we should get these calculation uh calculation circuits coming up processes coming out like that so you can just go like this what happened to that one and it'll make the second ones which is what we need to complete these 4k processes we're going to need more and i'll probably go and do this off camera because the next thing we're going to make after this is to do 4k storage cells which gives us an achievement, but then we have to put those into the housing, so we can just do that here like this. And then we can go and put the, they don't stack as you see, uh, when they're empty. In fact, obviously they don't stack when you've got items in them anyway. So I'm gonna put these two in here. In fact, I'll probably make another 1K. So the reason for doing this, this one will store, all of these store 63 types of items. Um, and the number of bytes used, it shows you how many stuff, how much we can put into these. So one of the good things we can do with this is a lot of small items requires a lot of small um, MK cells. So for example, if I come over here and have a look at this, oops, chest here, you'll see there's a lot of items in here, but there's low numbers. So they're well suited for small um numbers of units in comparison to what i've got here in the dank four for example if i look at open up the dank four we can see that we've got almost 16k of cobblestone so that would be best stored in a large um in a large storage cell maybe the 64k one so next thing on let's go back now i need to get back out uh and have a look at the quest but we'll complete that quest that should be in my backpack i think no, it isn't. I'll just go and get it. I know exactly where it is. It's in my storage chest here. I'm basically using the storage chest as, oh, as a place to store stuff while I'm emptying out this here. It gets full very, very quickly, as you can see. It hasn't been... I started that at the beginning of the episode. So let's right-click this and have a look. Because we've got one quest completed, and it'll be the Applied Energistics one, which will be the 4K storage cell uh here yeah, that's right and we get two one k's brilliant uh claim the reward and then go back and have a look at the next items along here so so far what we can't do is do anything with these we can't put items in so we need an me crafting table and for that we get a dragon tree sapling okay maybe that's interesting better end okay so ME crafting table. Let's have a look at the recipe for that one. ME pattern table, crafting table, terminal. So we need a calculation processor, a crafting table, and an ME terminal. Terminal is from a logic processor, an illuminated panel, and two, a formation core and annihilation core. Those are fairly standard, actually. And this one is made from an illuminated panel, so we need some glass, glowstone, redstone, and some iron, and that'll make that. But make three of these so let's get started with actually i'll prepare the recipes and come back in a second right i'm back again so we can make the illuminated panels first of all and then we need to turn these into the dark illuminated panels so i just need one of these to be a dark illuminated oh it's a bright one isn't it i think you put it through again and you get a dark illuminated panel hopefully that's the right one and then we also need some uh, formation cores if we go back to this recipe here crafting terminal we need to make uh, an me terminal so for that we need uh, actually it can be new uh, oh it can be any of these so that's fine i don't need to do that a logic processor and a formation core and an annihilation core formation core is go uh, a logic processor dust and some certis quartz pure certis quartz will do and the annihilation cores is a logic processor dust and nether quartz it can't be done it can't be pure in this particular case so let's get those out of here i'll make four of those <laughs> looking at my inventory it's looking a bit sad <laughs> as usual uh i probably should look at, look at the food first of all but well, let's make this terminal up so all we needed now was one of these panels and we should have 
<laughs> Offered and wrong. Dark illuminated panel. Let's just double check this recipe. Calculation processor. Crafting table. Oh, and an ME terminal. I haven't done the ME terminal yet. Okay. The ME... Oh, take, let's take that out of there because that's not going to be in any use in there, is it? So let's do that. So the ME terminal... We should be able to craft up now. Plastic. So it, I actually would like to use a dark one because that removes that one from the inventory, makes saves one space, and then we should simply be able to do this into here like this. In fact, as it happens, the ME terminal is usable anyway, but we want to do the crafting terminal. So now we can actually come along and put this down here. Um, and it doesn't really matter where we put it, so long as I put it somewhere. So if I put it, for example, on top of this. Try again. I'll get the thing in my hand here. You see we get this huge terminal. It's actually turned off because of power. I need to go and get myself another piece of gold cable, which I don't have in my inventory, but there's just... Should be in here, one piece. <laughs> And I can put this down here and probably have to break this one as well. Let's just do that. Okay, and then put the gold cable down here. So that should now get power, as you can see. And then this should now be lit up. Fantastic. So we can now start to put things in here. You can shift click in some items. So the idea is I'm going to import stuff into this network here. Uh, Onto, onto this terminal. So we'll do that. So we need an import bus. So let's have a look. Uh, that's going to be the next thing to do. Uh, import and there's an import and an export. We want to start with the import bus because it's fairly straightforward. So we need an annihilation core. Uh, a sticky a sticky piston and two iron, basically two iron ingots. We haven't got as far as termite or tallium ingots at the moment. I think they come from the nether anyway. Oh, and I haven't claimed my reward. So that's fairly straightforward. Iron, I'm not sure if I've got in my inventory. No, I have even one iron ingot from here last, don't I? I'm not mistaken, it was just one. So let's make the import bus. Oh, I'm missing sticky. Oh, I need two and a sticky piston. Right, pistons I do have ready, and that's not so bad. But my inventory is too full. I'll tell you what we'll do before I go on to doing this. Let's have a look at this food. I basically need to get speed and nourishment. I've got four items of food which I'm using at the moment. I'm using tofu, which gives me vegetables, proteins, and fats. I'm using avocado, which gives you fruit and fats, and yams or baked potatoes, which give you carbohydrates. And then I'm just putting these into the cooler here. So for example, let's open up this here. As you can see at the moment, I'm a bit short of carbohydrates and protein. So we can improve those by, well, carbohydrates and proteins, we probably can't do together. Um, that's vegetables. So we will eat, put some yams into the cooler here. And that should actually... I haven't got anything in the cooler at all. So we'll put some yams in the cooler. That will give me some of those when the next time I need some hunger. But the main, So what I'll do now is I'll just put this stuff away. Because we don't, I don't want it in my inventory all the time. And that will make up enough, enough spaces to carry on working with this. You may notice I've got some ruby dust and some charcoal dust in here. That was to make silicon. And the ruby dust... If you look for the use of the ruby dust, it's obviously glass fiber cables, which we're going to be making fairly soon. But the one I wanted to use was to make chrome dust. And the uses of chrome dust, if we put that in the blast furnace, we'll get chrome ingots. And the uses of that, if we put that in the, we should be able to compress it or something like that. Um, we should be able to compress it, that's right, make these plates. And the uses of these plates is then you can do industrial machine frames. So we need chrome plates and titanium plates. Titanium is a bit on the tricky side at the moment with a, an advanced machine casing, but I'm going to get that prepared for next time anyway. I think that's what one of my goals is. And the reason for that is because I would like to get replace all of these standard 
machine casings here with uh, industrial ones and you'll see that the heat here is 1860 with industrial ones we can push it right up to the top which we need for the higher materials like um tungsten i think tungsten's the one that needs the high the high heat and i should have some tungsten dust in here If not in here, not in here, then it's probably in the over here. So we'll have a look at that one quickly. Dark ashes, flint dust, steel dust, invar. Is it, it is a grey one, so clay, tungsten. So the uses of tungsten, you put it in the blast furnace, but it needs 2500 heat. Uh, and you can look for the recipes for this. Most of them are okay. We can do lots of things quite easily in here as you can see uh, low temperatures this button however this one for hot um tungsten steel ingots we need 3000 heat um and that needs tungsten and steel that's quite an but that needs then has a second process for that it's really complicated um and then we basically what we're doing here also this is to recycle stuff which is interesting like that and the heat levels are relative most of the stuff we can do in relatively low le heat levels but some of them just we can't like 15 these ones we can't so we can't do tungsten or small piles of tungsten and we need that this is this one um i think we can press it to tungsten plates like this and you can use that one to make up different parts and things so silos quantum storage units quantum tank units what's this one module crafting there's another thing in here as well we're not done that mod yet. So, right, carry on. Import bus. So what I've got to do basically is take the stuff that comes out of the recycler here and bring that into the into the system over there. Uh, obviously, it's everything's a bit tight at the moment, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so I can't do very much until I've actually got run some cables from here across to that which I'll do in my own time. I'm going to restart. I've got to reorganize this, but let's have a look at the quest book and see what else we've got to do on this particular quest quest track. Um, did I get my dragon tree sapling? Claim reward. I... That's strange, I didn't seem to get it. Um, not sure why. Maybe I have to do that later on in another one. That's weird. Doesn't normally do that, does it? Unless I have... Nope, it's definitely not giving me this token tea, so... Sapling. <laughs> We've done this one too. Oh. And that's claimed. The me crafting terminal's done. Terminal patterns. Okay, that's not done. So we've got we've got to do that one next, which would be an ME pattern terminal. Probably very easy to do. And the last one of these will be an ME interface terminal. Okay. All oops, sorry, all important. I keep pressing escape a bit too much at the moment, don't I? So the next one. Let's have a look at the ME stuff again. Or even I, don't know, I thought it was pattern terminal. Oh, terminal, isn't it? <laughs> Not a spell, right? This is right. So we've got these ones to do. Pattern terminal, an engineering press, and an ME crafting terminal. Um, terminal and an interface terminal is an ME interface. We haven't done that yet, which is actually interesting because we want to do an ME interface. So that's going to be four iron, two glass, and one of these cores. So let's do that because that's also another quest. Glass will be up here, I think. So we needed two pieces of glass. Doesn't really matter which glass we're going to use. I'll take it all. And we need some iron. And the rest of the cores weren't, wasn't it? So this one, let's do that like this, and we can both shift click this into here so we get an ME interface. And then we can 
then do the ME interface terminal. So we've got one of those already. And then, oh no, just a plate. That's that's great because we've got those already done. So now we get another achievement. So what did I want in here? An engineering. It is an engineering processor, isn't it? Not a circuit. So let's do that one. So we've got this one completed. And so the last one of those was a ME pattern terminal. So we need another engineering processor and a crafting terminal. So we need to get another one of these, which I should be able to put in. So we've used all three of those terminals up now. Uh, I need an engineering processor, didn't I? So I need to quickly make one of those up. That's one more of these diamond, silicon, and redstone. And my inventory is already chock a block. Now, I've only got to make one, so I'll just do it quickly. So that one, that one, and one of those. And that won't take a second at all, so it's quite fast. I could do that anywhere, couldn't I? So we wanted the ME crafting terminal again, so we need this. Uh, -uh. I already made that up. Oh, I have, haven't I? So I need to get the crafting tiller. So I just need a, yeah, just tells me I need a piece. I'm pretty sure I've got some of these around. I probably know where they are. They'll probably be in the other place over there. So let's just take a piece of wood. It's almost not worth stopping to do this, is it? So it's so fast. Oh, and by the way, when I was doing that, I did find avocados. They're actually not very far away. So we need another crafting table. Like that. Interesting how it puts them in. It doesn't follow the patterns here described, does it? So we need an ME pattern terminal, which is just that one like that. So now we've got all three of these things that we need. So let's go back to the quest book. We should be able to claim the reward for that one. We can claim the reward for this one. It's, ah, oh, this time it did work. Strange. And we can do the terminal pattern terminal. So we get a golden knife and some, I've probably got those already actually. My inventory full, cause it's not letting me do anything. It is, let's go and plant this tree. Actually, I should come back in the morning. I'll come back in the morning. Actually, as you can see here, I've got a load of uh, fruit trees from various types. So this one was plum tree. Um, in fact, they were just over there, about a hundred, I suppose a couple of hundred blocks over that direction. There's no problem whatsoever to find this. So let's go and put this big, I expect it's going to be a big tree. We'll find out. <laughs> put that up, slot five. Press it down like this oh i can't i'm just gone will that go on end stone probably goes on end stone since it's a better entry ah <laughs> interesting i've got something floating around here let's just put that in there a feather right i'll be back i don't oh maybe we do have some end stone as it happens anyway i'll be back in a second well i can claim that reward now what else have we got done we've done the 4k one which will give us two of those claim those rewards i'm just Finishing off claiming the reward, so we get uh, 32 coal ore from this one. Um, have I got enough space? Yes, I have got enough space. Quest book's not working very well. They have actually changed. Why is that not working very well? I'll try that again. Well, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I haven't done this one. It's a fluid extent cable. Fairly straightforward to do that one, but we don't need it just yet. And that gives us just some leak soup. So we not too bothered about that one as it happens for the time being so the next thing we're going to have to do is big leaves so we're going to have to make a crafting unit the crafting unit i'm not sure there are spears we'll have a we'll have a quick look so this is just some processors iron and stuff like that and in fact we could actually make that but i've put everything away so that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you learned something. I don't know. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.